Hello there, I'm Dr. M. I'm going to be doing your cranial nerve exam. Can you go ahead and confirm your last name and date of birth for me? Okay. Okay, here we are. So, I see from your file that you were recommended by your other practitioner based on some symptoms that we should get you in today for a cranial nerve exam. Is that right? Okay. And what were some of these symptoms that you were experiencing? your sleep then. Okay. And your appetite. Right? Any big falls or injuries in the past few months, weeks? Okay. Well, I do agree that it was a good idea to go ahead and get you in here today. Have you ever had a cranial nerve exam before? Okay, not a problem. I am going to be getting very close to you and using a variety of tools to assist and help test me. I am going to be touching your face, so I just want to warn you that that will occur during the exam, okay? We're going to go ahead and get started. If you can go ahead and scoot up to the edge of the exam table. Yeah, that's perfect. Alright. So, the first thing we're going to start with today. Again, I'm going to have a variety of tools. I'm going to start with some face sensations. Alright. So I just want you to relax your facial muscles. You can stare straight ahead, you can close your eyes, whatever you want to do. Okay, just relax. And now I'm going to be tapping on your forehead, temples, sort of all over your face, okay? Okay. You to tell me if you feel any pressure or pain in any of these areas. Moving down to your jaw. Okay, go ahead and clench your jaw for me. Good. Okay, and relax again. Okay, go ahead and make a shock surprise face best you can. Okay. Okay, good. Now scrunch up your face, sort of like you've just tasted something bitter or sour. Okay, good. Okay. Perfect. So no pain, pressure, tenderness. Okay, how about right here? No? Okay. Alright, have you noticed anything happening with your facial muscles within the past few months or weeks? Okay, good. So next, what I'm going to do, I have these two objects. I'm going to go ahead and run this one along your cheek. Okay, what does that feel like? Soft, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and run this one along your other cheek. What does that feel like? 
sharp, right? So I want you to tell me when you feel either one of these objects on your face, okay? Okay, now I want you to tell me which side of your face that you feel these objects on and I also want you to tell me whether I'm touching you with the soft or the sharp object, okay? So I want you to go ahead and close your eyes so obviously you don't know which one I'm using. Okay, great. Good, soft. Good, sharp. Soft, good. And sharp, very good. Now, I want you to let me know. I'm going to touch your face one more time, okay? I want you to let me know if this feels the same on both sides, okay? So your temples. Does that feel the same? Okay. Right above your eyebrows. Okay, feels the same, good. Right along your jawline. Okay, good. All right, I think we're done with that portion. And okay, so the next portion is the smelling portion of the cranial nerve exam. The first thing I want you to do is go ahead and place one of your fingers. Pluck up one of your nostrils. Very good. Okay. Just take a few breaths out of the opened nostril. Good. Okay, now go ahead and switch sides. Okay, good. So, no difficulties breathing out of either nostril. Okay, and have you had any problems with your nose in the past few months? Okay, any allergies? Okay, gotcha. All right, so I'm gonna have you close your eyes again and I'm going to uh, present some smells to your nose and I just want you to identify these smells from, for me. Yes, these are going to be very common smells. You will be able to identify them. Okay, good. So go ahead and close your eyes. We're going to start with smell number one. All right, go ahead and take a gentle sniff. Vanilla. Smell number two. Again, keep your eyes closed. And I want you to take a gentle whiff. Good. Coffee. Good. And the last smell. Right. Again, a gentle whiff. Good. Garlic. Met, did you find any of those smells difficult to identify in either nostril? Okay, I do want you to tilt your head back for me. Okay, and I'm just going to gently pull up on your nose and have a little look.
bright light. Okay, I'm gonna have a look on the other side as well. So I'm pulling up. Okay, not to see. Got a little abbreviation there. Up towards the anterior side. Okay, just checking something on the side again. Okay, alright. Okay. Okay. So we're done with the smell section. Alright. Next is going to be uh, a few eye examinations. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and start with this smellings chart back here. If you can look this way. Can you see this? Okay, great. Just the chart. So first, can you go ahead and read this line for me? Okay, and the line beneath that. Okay, and the line beneath that. Good. How about this letter right here? Good. And this letter right here? If you can go ahead and tell me the first three letters on this line. Okay, and then go ahead and read this line the best you can, this last line down here. Good, thank you. Next, I'm going to test some of your pupillary relaxions. I want you to start by just looking straight ahead. Okay? Okay. Let's just look straight ahead. Close your right eye for me. Okay, close your left eye. Okay, and open them both one more time. Okay, good. Now I'm going to take a little up close look of your eyes. Okay, again. Go ahead and start by just staring straight ahead, okay? I'm going to get up real close to you during this part of the exam. Just look straight ahead. Keep looking straight ahead. Okay, very good. Doing very good. you to um, look as far up as you can. Okay. Good. Just checking for any retinal abrasions or anything like that. Okay, now look down for me. Good. And to the other side. Look to the other side for me. Alright, good. And look up one more time for me. Go ahead and look up. Put this lens right in front. It should look quite as bright.
Okay, look straight ahead one more time. Okay, good. Good. Now, we're going to do a few more games with your eyes, okay, sort of. So first, I want you to look straight at my nose, okay? And I want you to tell me when you see the finger wiggling, okay? Ready? Straight up my nose. Good. 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 Okay, close your right eye. Good, and your left eye. Good, very good. Now, both eyes open. I want you to tell me, keep looking at my nose, when the finger comes into your field of view. Okay. Good. Good. It's the very tip of my finger. Good. Good. Now tell me when it leaves. Good. Good. Very good. Now go ahead and follow the tip with both up, both eyes open. Okay. Okay, very good. Go ahead and close your right eye for me one more time. Okay, and let me know when the finger comes into your vision with just your right eye open. Looking at my nose, okay? Okay. Okay, and when it leaves. Okay. Okay. Good. Good, very good. All right. Had any issues with um, your right eye? Okay. And are you a contact or glasses wearer? Either one. Okay. And about for how long would you say you've been wearing prescription lenses? Okay, and they've never given you any trouble in either eye. So I think we're going to move on to the last portion of our exam and I have a tool and first I want you to close your eyes and let me know which side you hear the noise in. Okay. Okay, just raise your hand on either side. That'll be fine. All right. going to do the same thing. The noise is going to be a little different. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. So the first noise you heard was just this ball of plastic and the second noise was my glove. Now I want you to raise your hand when you only hear my glove, okay? Or raise your hand whenever you hear my glove, and I want you to raise whichever hand you hear the glove, um, whichever side you hear the glove in, okay? So if you hear the glove on the side, I want you to raise this hand, okay? Okay. Perfect. Ready? Continue to close your eyes, please. Okay. 
pretty good. Okay, good. Next, I'm going to whisper a word in your ear, okay? And I just want you to repeat that word back to me. Okay, now I'm going to whisper a word in your ear again, but I'm also going to be making a noise at the same time, okay? And I want you to, again, just repeat the word back to me. Okay, great. Ready? that concludes all the tests I have to do. I do just want to ask a few more questions, okay? And I'll take some notes. Just a few more questions. So you've never had any issues with your ears either? Okay. swimmer? Do you swim year-round? Okay. Eardrops. Alright. Uh, and the issues with the ears, no hearing problems as well. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Okay, so I did notice some abnormalities in your eyes. All right, and right now that's nothing to be concerned about. I do want to let you go home and have maybe a good night's sleep, rest a little, okay? And I want you to come back in in three days and I'm going to rerun the tests, okay? I might do a few additional tests, get some more equipment. I also noticed um, a little bit of irritation in your nose and your ears. However, you did mention that you've been having some allergy issues. I don't know, that might be something unresolved that you want to go see um, an ear, nose, throat doctor about, or maybe your primary care physician who referred you here, uh, but I don't think that has any impact on your cranial nerves, all right? Does that all make sense? Okay, any questions? Okay, yeah, it's nothing to worry about right now. I can't give you anything definitively at the moment and I don't want your um, mind to sort of go in all different directions. I'm going to wait to give you more results and more information until I do those additional tests in a few days, okay? So for right now, don't worry, go home, get some sleep, and I'll see you back here in a few days. All right, sound good? All right, yeah, it was good to see you. Hope you have a good rest of your day, okay? Okay, take care.